I don't think there's any letter more appealing to the TV and display industry right now than K. The labels 2K, 4K, 5K, and now 8K get thrown around so much that you might think you're in an online chat that's going nowhere. And while the benefits and drawbacks of 4K TVs and monitors are pretty well understood by this point, there hasn't been nearly as much discussion about 8K technology, even though we're seeing it start to be pushed as the next big thing after 4K. So what exactly is it? Well, as you can probably guess, it's a higher resolution picture than 4K with an actual resolution of 7680 by 4320 pixels. That makes it four times as sharp at the same size as the already super sharp 4K, giving it 16 times as much detail as a standard full HD display. And the nice thing is that this isn't some experimental technology that isn't going to show up on the market until far away in the future. You can go down to your local big box store and pick up an 8K TV right now, assuming of course that you can afford the investment. But like a solid gold toilet, just because you can doesn't mean that you should. But why? So at some point, it turns out that your eyes really do hit a limit as to how much detail they can make out. And if you've ever seen a 4K TV or monitor, you might have noticed that you have to get quite close to the screen in order to discern the individual pixels. Well, with an 8K TV, this effect is multiplied several times over. So once you get far enough away, it will be very hard for you to tell the difference between 4K and 8K unless you're in the market for a super huge 85 or 100 plus inch display. But even if you have a wall and a living room cavernous enough to justify an 8K display, we actually still don't recommend that you go out and buy one. Right now, there simply isn't enough 8K content out there. There are a few 8K YouTube videos that have mostly been uploaded as novelties, and finding bigger name shows, movies, and sporting events in 8K is exceedingly difficult. Now, there are a limited number of 8K programs available in Japan, including the upcoming 2020 Olympics, but finding 8K on the reg is gonna be tough for years to come. I mean, there are still only a few hundred titles on Netflix that are in 4K, and just about everything on cable and satellite is still in 1080i. And the thing is that even though lots of 8K TV manufacturers are pushing the fact that their TVs can upscale lower resolution content to 8K quite well, the quality still won't come close to video that is natively shot in 8K and certainly won't justify the huge price difference over a 4K model. And then of course, even if you've got your 8K content, there is the issue of how much bandwidth 8K video takes. For each 8K stream in your house, you'll need a bare minimum connection speed of around 50 megabits per second. And of course, if you want any other devices in the house connected, and if you wanna watch HDR content, you will need even more. So our take is that 8K will take quite a few years to become truly useful, simply because the main benefit is not as large of a difference in image quality over the last gen compared to last time around. And even then, it might only be useful at all in spaces where large, large format displays make sense. Not necessarily in the average home or apartment, unless you're into sitting really, really close to your TV. Though we have seen prototype TVs that are meant to take up most of your wall. Isn't that a scary thought? I mean, imagine my face plastered across, you know, a quarter of your entire house shouting tech facts at you while you enjoy your sugared cereal. Speaking of facts, here's a fact. Every day, Brilliant publishes several daily challenges that provide a quick and fascinating view into the world of math, logic, science, engineering, or computer science. Brilliant's daily challenges are a fun, bite-sized way to master concepts by applying them. Each challenge comes with illustrations, animations, or interactive visualizations, as well as all the context that you need to solve the problem yourself. If you like the challenge and you wanna learn more, there's a related course that explores the same concept in greater detail.
So if you want to actively learn new, fascinating concepts each day, watch Tech Quickie. Oh, and also head over to brilliant.org slash techquickie and finish your day a little bit smarter than you started. The first 200 of you to do so will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. What a brilliant idea. Haha. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. Forgetting to subscribe and follow is one of the first signs of early onset Alzheimer's. So make sure you're subscribed to TechWiki.